In this question, we're asked how each of these halogen atoms will affect the acidities of the encircled hydrogens. We're then asked to sort these molecules from least acidic to most acidic. This is really a discussion issue that, if you're interested in, I'm going to explain right now. We now turn to acidity. Which of these molecules is the most acidic? Which one is the least acidic? And why? Okay, when we're talking about acidity in terms of these molecules, what we're really looking at is these hydrogens right here. These are the most acidic hydrogens in all of these derivatives of acetic acid. Why are they acidic? Well, the reason is because a base, I'll draw a big bad base, can come in here and grab those hydrogens. Grab those hydrogens off and push these two electrons that are being shared by the hydrogen and the oxygen onto that oxygen. These hydrogens are going to become more and more acidic as the electrons between them and the oxygen are being pulled more and more and more towards the oxygen. It's just that simple. So over here I've got a fluorine, a bromine, and a chlorine. They're all somewhat electronegative elements. Which of them is the most electronegative? Well, it's the fluorine. The fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. Because of that, he's sucking all of the electron density towards himself, or a certain amount of it at least, like a tug of war between a monster truck and a small child. Sucking that towards it, it weakens this bond and pulls the electrons towards the oxygen, which leaves this hydrogen more and more exposed to uh, having a base come and grab it. This is the most acidic hydrogen in the lineup. Hence, this molecule is the most acidic shown here. It is number one. Which of them is number two, the second most acidic? Well, that's going to be the one that is bound to an atom that is the next most electronegative. Who's the next most electronegative? A chlorine, a bromine, or just a bunch of hydrogens all over that carbon? Well, it is a chlorine. Now, that logic said, this molecule is going to be number two, the second most acidic molecule in the lineup, followed by the one with the bromine on it, which is number three, and than this molecule right here, which is acetic acid? The answer to this question at the left is B. Now, if you want to know why, I'll explain it right now. In this question, we're asked which of these statements is false in terms of the relative acidities of the molecules shown. In other words, statement number A is suggesting that the molecule to the left is less acidic than the molecule to the right. Statement number B is suggesting that the molecule to the left is less acidic than the molecule to the right, and so on and so forth. Which of these statements is true and which one is false? And why do you care? Well, the reason why you care is because you might see this kind of thing on a standardized exam. Let's see if we can go through the exercise of figuring out which ones are true and which one is false. Okay, when we're talking about acidity in these molecules, what we're really pointing at is these hydrogens right here. These are the most acidic hydrogens in each of these molecules because of residence to localization into the carbonyl after they're deprotonated. Kind of like we saw in a previous explanation, when we talk about the ability to remove this hydrogen, in other words, the ability of, of that hydrogen to be acidic, it is going to be increased as the electrons are being sucked away from that hydrogen. The more those are sucked away from the hydrogen, the easier it is to grab and hence the more acidic it is. Now, what that means is that if you have a withdrawing group attached somewhere to this molecule, in this case on this ring, that is going to increase the ability of that hydrogen to be able to be removed and hence its acidity. Withdrawing groups, much like vampires, suck electron density towards themselves. What kind of group is an NO2? Well, an NO2 is a withdrawing group. So I'll go ahead and write that down. Now, if you don't remember that, I'll go ahead and post a link right here to a video in which I discuss why an NO2 is a withdrawing group on a benzene ring. What that means is this NO2 is sucking electron density towards itself and leaving this naked hydrogen out there more easy to grab, which means this molecule is much more acidic than its counterpart over here that just has hydrogens around the ring. Is this statement true? Is this one more acidic than the guy to the left? Absolutely. Let's take a look at statement number B. What type of group is this, this group called a methoxy group? Is it a withdrawer or a donor? In reality, this type of group is actually a donor, and if you don't understand why, I'll go ahead and post a link right here to a video in which I discuss it. What that means is that this, is that this oxygen is releasing or donating electron density into the ring, and hence pushing electron density towards uh, this hydrogen. 
that actually increases the oxygen's grip to that hydrogen, not decreases it, which means that this hydrogen is less acidic than it would be if we didn't have a donating group here. So that means that this molecule to the right is actually less acidic than the molecule to the left. So this statement is false. This is the correct answer because the question is asking us which of these is incorrect. This guy is the correct answer because it's the incorrect statement. Correctly incorrect, if that makes sense. In this question, we're asked which of these molecules will be least acidic. The correct answer is C. And once again, if you want to know why, stay tuned right now. This question asks us which of these molecules is the least acidic. Now, as I pointed out earlier, if you have a withdrawing group that sucks electron density away from the acidic hydrogen, in this case, these hydrogens in each of these molecules, it is going to weaken the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen and hence make the hydrogen more acidic. In other words, if you have a withdrawing group attached to the benzene ring, it's going to suck electrons towards it and make that hydrogen out there more acidic. Now in contrast, if you have a group that releases electrons, that is a donor, someone who's pushing electrons towards that hydrogen, it increases the grip that that oxygen has on the adjacent hydrogen and decreases the hydrogen's acidity. This group over here in NO2 is a withdrawer. I'll write W for withdrawer. A chlorine is also a withdrawer by virtue of its electronegativity, which means that these two groups are going to suck electron density towards them and make the hydrogen on the opposite side more acidic. But we've been asked which of these molecules is the least acidic. A hydrogen is, is, of course, kind of in neutral land, but what about this? Well, an OH is a donating group on a benzene ring, and if you want to know why, I'll post a link right here to a video in which I discuss that. It pushes electrons towards the hydrogen, tightening or increasing the grip of that oxygen on the hydrogen, and hence making that hydrogen less easy to remove and therefore less acidic. So the correct answer is C.